Welcome to the show. This holiday season is a bustling time of the year. It's also the perfect time to get back to some basics in the kitchen. Joining me, Jeffrey Saad, chef and host of the Cooking Channel's United Taste of America, with some tips to help us celebrate the holidays with some simple kitchen basics. Hi, Jeffrey. How are you doing? I'm good, Audrey. How are you? Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Crazy has to happen in the kitchen when nobody's looking so that the day of the holiday, you're relaxed and enjoying everybody. And the way you can do that is by making quiches ahead of time, which we'll talk about. And then when the quiche runs out, because it's so delicious, you can make this quick breakfast bagel scramble, which is also good at lunch. And the key to this scramble is to know that anything in your fridge is going to taste great with it once you know how to perfectly scramble the eggs. So we've got a nonstick pan with a little bit of butter. That's one secret. The other secret is two eggs, which are whisked with two tablespoons of milk and a pinch of salt. You pour that in. Do you like making scrambled eggs, Audrey? Uh, they're my favorite. And, are they always... and I like them because you can put just about anything in them. Exactly. That is the brilliance. You know, I've learned from traveling, from cooking, the egg travels well. Everything tastes great with the egg. And it also makes, you know, it extends your leftovers. That's what's great. You have a little bit of this and a little bit of that in the fridge the next day. A scrambled egg, a fried egg, an omelet, or a quiche will take those leftovers through the next several days. So the key, though, is you got to paint the bottom of the pan like this. See? No stirring. Once that butter's melted, just paint the bottom of the pan and create these folds of eggs. I don't know about you, but I grew up with well, a lot beautiful. of stirring, and they would get, like, dry curds, you know? We don't want that, right? We want light and fluffy, and this is how you get there. And while that's Ooh. setting... We're going to spread on our toasted bagel a little bit of cream cheese. This is a chive cream cheese. You can use whatever you like. And then we're going to put a little lox on that. Do you like prosciutto or ham? You can do that as well, Audrey. And, you know, eggs make you a hero, too. Whether it's being a hero at the holidays entertaining or whether it's just giving my kids a nutritious breakfast to give that mind and body energy or for the holidays, it's that hug energy, eggs will save you. So we got our cream cheese and our bagel. We're going to put our lox on here as much as you like. And then we take our eggs, light and fluffy, perfectly set, but light and tender. A little bit of chive on top, and there you have it. Now this is your backup plan or your quick meal after you've enjoyed the quiche. The quiche, you just want to get a deep dish, pre-baked crust. It's all about the ratios. Do a cup and a quarter, half and half to six eggs. A little Gruyere cheese, pinch of salt and nutmeg, and the rest is up to you. This one, I put in some cooked bacon and Gruyere you pour in that custard filling and bake it at 375 till the very center just does the jiggle and you know it's done. And it's just as great hot out of the oven or the next day heat it up. You're making me hungry. Because eggs are so versatile, you could also take them into lunch. Well said. A little bit of salad or fruit next That's to this. It. It's mm -hmm. a brilliant lunch, late night snack, breakfast. I like to cut it up in small pieces as well and spread it out, you know, with a little bit of garnish so it's a great appetizer, as, you know, or snack. And if you Absolutely. go to IncredibleEgg.org, you can get these recipes, including this delicious pot de creme, which is like chocolate heaven. Recipes and more at IncredibleEgg.com. Jeffrey, pot de creme? Pot de creme. Doesn't that just sound delicious? First yeah. time I had this, I thought it must be so complicated because it's the most decadent, amazing dessert. This takes about 10 minutes with some eggs in half and half, and you will have a dessert that looks like this individually made for your guests, completely smooth and rich. From savory to sweet, the egg is my hero. You just need a couple of dozen eggs and you can just about feed an army. That's it, I stock the fridge with eggs, whether it's a bowl of hard cooked that I do on Sunday to eat all week, or yeah. whether I always have my two dozen fresh eggs. It's like, I say it's like having the 12 best cooks in your family always available because you will look like a hero with the egg. <laughs> and where can we find more recipes? IncredibleEgg.org, recipes and more. You'll get all these recipes, plus there's enough recipes there to have eggs every day of the year and never have the same thing twice. And if you go to uh, JeffreySaw.com, you can check out United Taste of America, which airs every Tuesday, and I get to see you there as well. Thanks so much, Jeffrey, for joining me on Talk with Audrey. It's always good to talk to you. It's always great to talk to you, Audrey. Happy holidays and thanks. Happy holidays. I'm Audrey Adams. Thanks for watching. <laughs>